So we saw that there were more slaves today than at any time in human history. Last time. And that led to finding that in fact many chocolate companies I think Hershey, Nestle and Mars were listed but you know I'm, I'm sure more I'm sure there are more and that left me in the situation of how much am I really bothered as in okay I'm out I'm outraged at the fact that slavery still exists in the modern world but will not eating my favorite chocolate really do anything though that seemed like a bit of a cop out but I wanted to more think about it, find out some more information before rushing to a pointless conclusion. Pointless, ill-informed conclusion. And of course with the internet, finding out stuff is pretty easy. Not that all the stuff that you find is correct. But it's still far easier now. So then I found this. Seventy-one percent of companies believe there is a likelihood of modern slavery occurring at some at some stage in their supply chains. And that was really the thing that was bugging me at the back of my mind that okay I found one website and it mentioned Mars but to randomly pick one and identify that and go oh Mars are so bad kind of missed the point The discussion by modern slavery on CNBC was that this was widespread that multiple big companies brand names that you're very familiar with are have or are using modern slavery in their supply chains so as it says here I mean 71% so of the thousands hundreds of thousands of companies out there if like the takeaway was not to go oh Mars and Mars have at least committed to stop using any uh, child slavery modern slavery by 2020 which of, of course you know, oh no another four years of but how many of the other companies are doing this? You know, I mean, so it's easy to just be high and mighty and go, oh, how that's just disgusting. They should be shut down. They should all be arrested or something. Well, if you do that, basically every business would be arrested. Your own business, whatever you're doing all around you, it is being used. So it's more to the takeaway is to recognize the fact that this is going on that's at least step one another website I came across mentions you know that you know how much many migrants how many migrants end up I suppose in slavery but the fact that in total forced labor 
generates an estimated $150 billion in illegal profits every year. So what did I want? What would be, I mean, th there are bad things all over the world, all over the place, you know. I mean, I remember reading before that, you know, we could treat, uh, yeah, basically that there are 38, there were, there were 38,000 uh, children, I think, kind of dying every day from preventable uh, uh, causes, which we could heal, prevent, stop for, I think, five cent. So that is the backdrop. I mean, the the backdrop is uh, there are, yeah, 38,000. And actually that has fallen to, I think, 23 or something now, which is, which is impressive. But still, you're talking about over 20,000 people dying every day who basically are not being saved because we're not bothered to spend 10 cents on their lives. So that's the kind of context. So what did I want from this uh, random web search on slavery? Well, I thought I would like to know, you know, who are using it. I would like a, if there's any, anyone creating basically a good and bad list. Since if, say, Mars were, Mars stops using child slavery by 2020, and say the other people haven't. So if their Mars bar, or if their, if their chocolate then had a little logo, a, bra a label basically showing that they are standing behind the ab abolish slavery, slavery movement. And then it would make it easy for me to, when I go shopping, just go, I support uh, get the fight against modern slavery. And then I could buy their goods in preference to the people who don't have the we don't use slavery so that's more where i would what i would like and that is kind of where the this slavery footprint.org thing is doing so it basically asks various questions again that's not the main detail but then they list all these companies that have you know slavery in their uh, supply chain and these are like you know massive companies I mean Mercedes Benz Walmart Kraft I think Intel was there also I mean Verizon so Nike, Starbucks, IBM. It's the who's who. It also mentions, you know, how Apple, Samsung, that they use, you know, various things and they're mined by child slaves. And so that, yeah, that's just one example of the how they turn up in the supply chain. And then you have these companies who are in the made it made in a free world campaign or companies so at least we have a list of these companies who essentially are doing the right thing and from this website you know i was able to send an email to these companies telling them look I, there are people out there and we're aware of the fact that you are using slaves and do something about it and that puts pressure on because it means that when people yeah, people can say or people know that we're not getting away with it ideally i'd like it if i'd ever heard of these companies you know that I'd ideally I'd love it if 
the companies in the Made in a Free World list included companies like Samsung or Apple or Microsoft or whatever because then they're making and doing stuff which I buy and then I could allocate it would be a factor I take into account when I'd be purchasing things and basically if you want to be kept informed about this you can just enter your email and you'll be on a mailing list so that's my mini excursion into the world of modern slavery and th thanks to these guys at slavery footprint and the other websites they kind of have they are doing what I would hope someone was doing. So thanks to them.